So let's hope this patch really did indeed fix everything. It was about like four gigs or something like that. So there's a lot of results. It's been like 10 days, more than almost two weeks, honestly, since we were able to record. Good job, EA. Very good. That's exactly the kind of momentum that I like to start the series. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's try to get back on track here, guys. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Because God knows the algorithm absolutely hates that I went. <laughs> There's a gap between my videos once again. Anyway, we see there are a lot of results. We know where we are. And we'll see if uh, hopefully we can still get the same. I kind of forgot everything we did. I, I haven't. I'm probably redo. Uh, oh, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it all. Uh, we, some people might get drafted differently. I've deleted the list. I'll do it again. We might see some different retirements, although it is early on. Yeah, like Marlo goes and... So we'll look at this real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this kind of stuff. Because we did, quote unquote, do that. We might have some different retirements. I don't see any of our guys going. So that's good. I think we had a retirement last time. Marlo, Boychuk, and Richardson all become scouts. I think Jumbo retired last time. I can't even remember. All right. Um, I guess we'll go to the draft class still. I might want to do an interview or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, the friggin' 88 franchise, dude. Pretty nuts. Although, I don't even... I don't even remember if I... Do I have any pins? <laughs> do I have a few pins? I kind of know what they all bring to the table, besides Smolinski. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna do an interview or need to. Unless there's another low elite that I somehow got in this time, but I don't think so. Yeah. No, just that maybe guy. Alright, so. That'll pretty much do it. We're not really going to come across any of those uh, second round low elites quite yet, I don't think. So, not going to bother with that. I kind of just want to get back to uh, quote unquote where we were. No, there should, there's no, going to be no changes in, uh, the only change that would have been possible was Philadelphia. So I'm going to skip that as well as I hope we kind of remember all that happened and whatnot. Anyway. Oh no. This time I didn't fucking sign Besser. My, my bad. And I won't be able to. All right, whatever. I got, last time I got him to like a two year deal or something like that to hold on to him. It's not going to be too big of a deal. I, I don't think I could sign him right now. And, uh, I don't think it'll go through in time, but whatever. Yeah, last time I was, I was going to keep him as, like, RFA for, like, one year. Let me see if it'll work. I don't think it will, but uh, now I now have to go up. It'll be 6-6 six, six for one year. I don't think it will, but whatever. Ah. <laughs> Freaking game. Screwing us over. All right, so now that all that's taken care of here, let's actually do the draft here and get uh, some of these members drafted. Huh? And, uh... Work our way up. So, let's jump into it. Hopefully, we can still trade up somewhere into here. We can. The sixth slot. This. Oh, well, that was that was it last time, wasn't it? We have the eight. We could jump up to the six as well. And I think that... I can't remember what the hell we traded for it at this point. Maybe I should have gone back and rewatched it, but... I'm sure we could uh, pull something off here. Now, the plan... I think was the, one of them was the defenseman I was going to grab. Yeah, I think we wanted to get... Jagger Marlowe there. And then... Who was earlier? It wasn't Benoit. Wait a second. It was a defenseman of some sort. It wouldn't have been Juracek. Who the fuck was it? Wait a sec. What? Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. sorry. I, I was reading that as an OFD. Yeah, I was going to look at Dylan Benoit as a DFD here. That's right. As a medium elite DFD. So we wanted to move up to six to be able to get him. And what happened last time? Didn't, like, a high elite last all the way to six or something stupid like that? I think so. And we had to, like, <laughs> trade for it. So let's go ahead and do that. And what the hell do I have to trade with New York now? Trying to remember what the heck. It, I know it was like. It wasn't Horvat. I think I'm holding on to Horvat. It was. Don't want to say. No, not Dermot. Pearson, right? I think Pearson was one of them. 
Yeah, it would have been Tanner Pearson. Maybe Dickinson, too. I think it was Dickinson or maybe Garland, was it? I don't know, remember. So Tanner Pearson in there. And it was probably... I think Yermo's got to be one of them. We're going to have too many players. That's fine. We're going to take someone back here. We'll say Reeves. That makes it even. Will that go through, actually? Not quite. Okay. Well, that's all right. Is there something else here that I can give up? Not really. It's going to have to be... Let me retain. I know I retained on something. Maybe with the retention, this will be fine. Or maybe it was Garland with retention. I'll figure it out. I can't, Again, maybe I should have went and watched it or something. But whatever. Pearson Yermo. Was it just Dickinson that I threw in too? I don't think so. It might have been, but... All right, well, that, that's fine. Well, it'll reset. There's the 88 franchise. I'm going to Arizona. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. I want to kind of hold on to Garland for something else here. Let's throw in Pearson and Dickinson. Maybe I think I might have been doing something like that and, like, retain on Pearson. Maybe we even retain on Dickinson, just for fun. Again, I can't remember exactly what the... I know I was doing some kind of variation of these guys. Oh, I have to take back two players now, but that's that should be fine. We'll do Reeves and Braun. And that might actually go through on its own. We could hold on to Yermo. Yeah, that'll go through. Okay. Alright, so that worked. Who knows what the hell if it was similar to the last one. It doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> like, at all. So there we go. Trades have been made. We'll still have to spend some money here and there. That's all right. And player-wise, whatever. Actually, holding on to Garland isn't the worst thing in the world. You never know. Maybe he has another good year or something like that. And I wanted to ho hold on to Horvat because I think this guy could be a longer-term 3C for us. That's kind of the uh, the goal there. All right, so now we got the 6 and the 8 in which we are hoping... To be able to get her hands on Jagger Marlowe and Dylan Benoit. That's kind of the goal here. And it should work out like that. Hopefully, Doucet doesn't... I mean, so hopefully... I mean, our, our scouts like likes Marlowe more, obviously. Which would be nice to get. Power forward wouldn't be awful. Who knows if it works out the same way. But let's hope the central scouting... Let's just hope it kind of sticks like that. Okay, so... And we do have another pick here. Hold on, I gotta make sure what other pick we have and try to plan this out, thinking what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, there's... Yeah, I can maybe move this up to try to snag someone else. I know there's a couple guys who were meeting elites. Now, I may, I may be cheating now to grab them, now that I kinda know somewhere where they exist. I might grab... Yeah, I might go ahead and grab... Uh, Kai Gordov, simply because, well, here, here's a good fucking check. All right, we can click on him. <laughs> it does say NHL ready, so it's like, you might want to go for that guy anyway. There's also, so it's like either Lambert or Kai Gordov we can get our hands on. You probably want to go for Kai Gordov. We know Lambert should be elite. So I'll rationalize it by like, yeah, I could probably move myself back there and grab one of them. I'm going to go with the Russian now instead, as a... Uh, as a means of revenge for the game fucking us. Uh, anyone has a problem with that? Sorry. So we're gonna... Oh, maybe not. We'd have to move up to 22. Which might not get us either of them anyway. Merrick Svatos goes to Dallas. Maybe, I think that's probably where he went before, but... Svatos to the stars. Here you are. Alright, I'm just gonna see if I can maybe swing that trade still. May have to move a pickup or something, but that won't be the end of the world. Especially if it's a two. Okay, hold on. I'd have to move way up to the 15 if I really want to guarantee it, but... Hmm. 
Yeah, it's 21, 22, 23 around that area, but can't really comfortably guarantee that. That sucks. I can overextend, sure. Yeah, dude, it's a 22 I'd have to go for, which is not a guarantee to get it. And none of these teams want to give up their pick. Nashville's the only one, and that seems... I mean, for what we'd be getting, it's fine. But it does seem like a lot to give up here. Throw in the 30. I, get, I could throw in the 36, but I could also get, like, a top four from there. I want to hold on to those, I think. Damn, dude. Hold on. Let's, let's see what we all got here. So with the 68, I should be able to get my hands on the goaltender. I might move it up a little bit. 124, I want to snag that guy quite obviously. For everything else, there should be like a top four or something I had in there. Maybe I pinned him. Like a 47, 83... Well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But there's nothing really around 36 that I need. So technically, I could throw that one in there. But the thing about that is, it's like I should absolutely be able to get... A top six around there. The question is, how badly do I want one? There's also a high starter, but I'll probably skip that. We don't really need it. Oh yeah, there's Gaucher. Could get our hands on Gaucher. You know what? I'll get my hands on Gaucher. Let's trade a player then. Fuck it. Alright. Damn, do I really... I guess I'll have to move up for the 15 here. It's... I just think with the block being what it is, it's the most comfortable. So move in the 30. Keep all those picks. I don't think I have any... Yeah, not giving up any... Well, can't really give up any of that. We only have four. Might be Garland here. I don't have... God damn it. I don't have a lot... <clears throat> besides him. Hmm... Does kind of suck as I now at this point I was like oh, I could maybe hold on to him, you know, like Patterson, Garland, Besser, just maintain that. Gonna have like the Horvat, Hoaglander, and someone. Let's try throwing in Yermo here. Quite close to fair value. Okay. So I'm not going to use Yermo because just look at the guy. He's 20, 63. If he is going to become a top four. Well, we're, we're literally going to get a guy who's top four here. So I'm going to throw in my seven here because I probably won't get anything good from it. Damn. I can throw in both sevens technically because there's not going to be anything here. If this doesn't go through, they'll have to go a different direction. Okay. So it's not going to be a seven. We can refresh this. Let's. We'd have to get some more picks for next year. But let's throw in the six from next year. That should do it. There we go. All right. We have positioned ourselves for everything that we want and need. Now we can continue. Who's going to the Kraken? Uh, real guy. The Islanders get uh, Doucet. So this might have been where you went before. Again, I just deleted the whole list because I didn't want to try to look at it and match things up. So Islanders for Doucet. And us, our first pick. And right here, we're going to select Dylan Benoit. It didn't happen this time. Like, I think last time, something weird happened last time. Oh, I think Sailor, like, I think they picked Marlow over Sailor, right? Yeah. That might happen again. We might have to do that stupid thing and make a trade for that. But hopefully we don't. Hopefully they do the smart thing and take the high elite. Let's grab Dylan Benoit. There he is. All right, Sabres, don't do it again. Good, 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 good. We don't have to. We don't have to screw him over this time. Congrats, congrats. All right, so Sailor goes to the Sabers. Let me actually put him 
in kind of order here. There we are. All right, Sabres, you go. And now our pick where we grab Jagger Marlowe. There we are. All right. So we got Dylan Benwell. We got Jagger Marlowe. Sorry, Sharks. <laughs> right before their pick, the Sharks are like, you motherfuckers. They go and grab Yershek. Coyotes get... Is it going? I know that's the same. So yeah, maybe it's relatively the same. But there we go. Doesn't take too much time to write a name. The Wild get Savoie. The Caps get their hands on Fitz. That's a really sick pickup. 81 meme elite two way forward. Red Wings get Yoakum Kemmel. The Sharks will get Geeky. And our pick now. Where we skip all those guys. <laughs> Jonas Rantala, Myers, Chip and Powder, Jokin, Skylark. And we go straight for Kagorodov. Don't crash. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking still terrified, man. Now, can I click on him from here and make sure it doesn't crash? Oh, dude, I saw that loading sign for a minute. That scared the shit out of me. There we go. All right, so we got Kagorodov now, another defenseman. 76, meet him elite. Whew. All right, let's see who's going on the Yotes now. I might have might have some different orders now. Slavkovsky goes to the Yotes, meet him elite 70 overall. And the Habs will get chip and powder. Okay. Powder on les habitants. The Sens get Jokin. The Sabres, two people going to the Sabres? Yes, Jonas Rontala. Join Salty Sailor on the Sabres. For Dungeon Mifflin and Sabre. All right. Uh, there we are. And the Ducks. We'll get Jaron Myers. Sweet. All right. Put you in there. Myers on the Ducks. And the Blues. We'll select Chip Skylark. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the, the name there. It'll be there. All right. I don't know if that's everyone now. I don't think we might have a... Lambert going to uh, the Winnipeg Jets. Oilers get Bystead. That looks like all the members, at least here until the... Uh, ooh, that's right, that grinder guy. 76 grinder. Pretty sick. Blue shell. All right, that looks like it's pretty much it. Right, until the goaltenders come up. We have 10. There should be two more, I believe. It should be 12, 12, and 11. Or, no, 12, 11, 11. That's how the draft goes. So there's 12 in this year, 11 in the next two. So we've got 10 drafted so far. Should be two left. Both of them goaltenders, if I'm not mistaken, because that's how it works. Goaltenders go later. Uh, yeah, Crazy Train and then Michael Ludi. There we are. So, we'll see where Crazy Train and Michael Ludi go. And that will wrap things up. Let's just go up to our pick here. And scroll back. So, Crazy Train. Oh, he was also a high starter. So, Crazy Train. Going to the Kraken. Uh, I think that's before the Blues. So, let me do that properly. Alrighty, on the Kraken, and our pick, we'll go ahead and snag Gaucher here, because we already have Thatcher Demko, we do not need a goaltender, especially a high elite, if we're going to grab a goaltender, we'll grab a, well, we'll grab the elite later, let's grab Nathan Gaucher, there we are, 60 overall, medium elite, so, eh, Arizona Mike and Michael Ludi. no, they skipped them, <laughs> wow, Wow, they uh, is is Michael Ludi gonna go to the Sabers? We gonna have another go we gonna have another member on the Sabers? They gonna be stacked? No, they skip them too. <laughs> Who the hell's getting them? There he is. Goes to the Devils. There. All right. So Michael Ludi on the Devils. There we are. Actually, this is a very, very, very good mix. There's only two people who ended up on the same team. Well, I mean, never mind. There's four people who ended up on. 
uh, the same teams. That's two people on the Sabres, and then, of course, two people on our team. That's all the members here in this first season. But, yeah, we got some of the people on the Ducks, Coyotes, two on the Sabres, the Stars, the Habs, the Isles, the Devils, the Kraken, the Blues. I like it. Nice variety. Nice variety here. Okay, our ne when's our next pick coming? 68. Let's take a look at the draft class now. And decide what's going on. Now, I might, to be safe, I probably should move that up a little bit. Just because I, I know we don't need the goaltender, but I want the value. We're going to need some, we're going to need that trade value. So, we got the 68, then the 97, 124. So, let's see. 68, we know we're going to move up. 97, we don't need to move up. We will need to move up to 4. Okay, so let's move up the 3 and let's move up our 4 and then that'll be it for moving up. So, where's our, let's just find our pick here and then... Oh, very, very early. Well, we can go for the Flames. That should be fine. That should be the 65. That'll be good. All right, let's throw that in. I can throw in a 7. It's not going to matter too much in this first year. So let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to get anything great. So we'll do that. We'll move that up. Let's go to that pick now. Up we go. Select the goaltender. Nikolai Saprikin, another Russian. It's not going to crash on us. Beautiful. Medium Elite, 47 overall. Then we got the 94, which we can dra uh, draft in place with. All the way up. Oh, uh, what? Oh, what? What the hell happened? Well, it must not have been anything good, so... That still sucks, though. Yo, wait, it was Lutz, wasn't it? What? Did I screw this up? Huh. Huh. I don't know how I did that. I guess I don't have to move this up now. I can just draft that. There's nothing to look forward to. Unless I want to like go for a random chance on this guy. Three or ETA though. Good luck him being elite. There's really no point now. Yeah, there's zero point to move it up. Okay, well, I'm just going to draft this guy now. That was weird. I thought we were fine. I, to could, I totally thought we had the 90. I don't know. I thought the guy was projected at like 97 or something. Maybe I had it back. It doesn't matter. At this point, it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and just grab Marcus Yakupov right now and not worry about moving up our next pick. So 50 overall, medium elite, two-way forward center, no X factors. It's a good thing all the crashes are fucking fixed. A Yakupov, a Kygorodov, Kai whoever the hell the last is. Saprikin. <laughs> Yeah, we were, this whole draft was doomed. All the guys that we were going to get absolutely doomed. All right, up to the 126 here. I must have screwed something up somehow. Whoa! Oleg Leeson. Another medium elite right there. That would have been cool to get. Could go for another goaltender, hope for some trade value. I think that's the best play right here. Actually... Oh no, never mind. Four year if he was if he was better than four year ETA, I would get it. But there's no way he's gonna be elite right there. Yeah, let's let's go for the goaltender. Fringe starter. Nothing great. Okay, not great. Damn. Alright, up we go here. The one thirty two. They want to trade for some well we can get a eh. Oh, no, that's awful. What the hell? That's awful. That's awful. What the hell are they doing? Okay. Let's see here. This is still within technical range. It's this guy with this four-year. He's not going to be good. Not with four-year ETA. How about this guy? Oh, it's the other Savoy. Wait, was he? I want to say he might have been top. No, there's no way he's top six, right? I'll go with Kozlov anyway. We've had good luck with Russians. It's not going to be good. Yeah, low nine. Oh, well. Man's come. Um. Yeah, nothing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we missed another meme elite goaltender. That's some trade value. Oh well. All right. Well, here's some more. Couple elites here. Hey, Miss Gascon. Awesome. Uh, goes Christian Edberg. Four year EJ. No. Can I go up? 
Thanks. Hedberg, five year ETA. He's the he's the guy. Go with Christian Hedberg. Starter. Not horrible. Up to the 190 now, where it's it's all gambles at this point. Good luck getting anything good. Um Just kind of looking around this area. Henry Gortz, we're going to go with him. Uh, low 6D and one last pick here in a C of AHLs. What? Dennis Goodbog. That's a dope name. All right, let me see if there's any lows in any good place not really there's a low four who at the end of the day is probably at least a slight increase in value so you know what we're just gonna go safe for the low four and get a slight increase in value pat henry 54 low four who never know you never know maybe he grows a shit ton <laughs> anyway grabbing pat henry there and that will be our draft so all in all a very very good draft um <laughs> like dylan benoit jagger marlow kai gordov gauche four in a row low elite at five in a row low six in a row low elites benoit marlow kai uh, kai gordov gauche saprikin yakupov six players in a row that were sorry medium elites and then we got some mostly misses for the end but uh all in all pretty damn good draft very front loaded for us but that's kind of what we need at this point we're gonna probably need another draft that was pretty front loaded here but we didn't really improve our team in any way shape or form so that should be doable uh what the hell how do we already have a it usually doesn't happen having a unless we gave a guy like one year anyway let's just get him back because yeah it'll be one more year until we redo the uh scouting pool hey okay good we actually besser actually did sign them very happy about that good i don't have to worry about him here not that it'd be a big, big deal, but yeah. The reason I wanted to do this, I wanted to keep him RFA. So I could decide, have more time to decide what I want to do with the guy. Like, I basically have this whole year and this off season, right? So, there we go. Uh, Hoaglander. Yeah, man, I'm thinking like, if, yeah, yeah, you could have kept Pearson for that third line quote unquote but also you that's going to be your second line right now so we can just sign someone so i got myers lol okay braun doesn't want to be here that's fine i'll just get rid of the guy i don't need him we do need to spend some money here and there okay hold on dph i definitely want to keep halak doesn't want to come back so we can just let him go honestly So we keep around C Lobs, let everyone else go. We could grab, snag another backup, unless DPHO will be ready. I don't think he will be. I don't think he might jump up. So let's get a guy who we don't mind if we send him down, someone like 80 overall or something like that. And then C Lobs is definitely not going to be starter. So we'll have Demko, DPHO slash whoever, and then C Lobs as the HL backup. All right, let's do the thing here. Hunt, sure. What? I don't care. We need. We do need to spend some money. Let's give 2.5 to Hunt. Baton. 1.5 to him. Rathbone, sure. It's not a bad deal. Let's just give him... Let's see if he takes that exactly. He will... Yeah, he might grow a bit. Won't be bad. Sutter. We can keep him around for a year. We will need some guys to play. One year for two mil. Bailey, same kind of thing. He wants a two-way, sure. We will keep around some of these guys up top. There's going to be guys we let go of, but likely not necessarily around here. HL guy can go. I'll sign him. <laughs> this guy can definitely go. Well, he, this guy is actually capable, but I kind of want to see if this guy will grow any. Get rid of Sautner as well. And then everyone else should be able to get signed. We'll pick up some guys in free agency. Everyone else here will get signed no matter what. Because they are in playable range. All 
All right. Hopefully they all just accept whatever the hell I'm throwing at them. <laughs> that would be nice. Juleson definitely keeping around. Might become a nice little depth guy. Really? You want a real deal, huh? Fine. Okay, let's hope that kind of works. Advance a day here. So far, so good. I don't think anyone rejected, man. Beautiful. Spending 17 mil, we should be at the cap floor. But one thing I do want to do is see if there's anyone here we actually just want to sign. Kai Gordov can play AHL immediately, so I think we go ahead and... Well, we not we might not be able to get the best teachers. Maybe let's hold off on that. Yakupov, Gaucher will be exemption, right? Yeah, he's with the Quebec Rempire, so... Also, Jagger Marlowe. Will be an exemption. We'll sign them. We'll sign the exemptions. And Dylan Benoit also exemption. Yeah, it's a big question mark for Kai Gordov. Um, if I can get a very, very strong teaching AHL coaching staff, I would sign him. If not, I'll leave him off contract. Yeah, Kapov will stay off contract. Uh, they'll sign those exemptions and that will pretty much do it. All right. That was quick. Quick and easy. <laughs> 39 guys under contract. We'll pick some guys up in free agency as we are just simply going to need to. Well, let's see if they sign. They should. Oh, we got our scout back. Gaucher, Benoit, Jagger. All right. Done and done. That was easy. Up we go to normal fragency. Fragency. I don't know what the hell happened with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was so busy saying French names and trying to pronounce them that all of a sudden, like, I think I combined the words and it sounded French. Ugh, Horvat. Oh, dude. I don't think we go with a full eight, <sighs> but maybe. I think full eight's too much. We can go six because it'll be third line. That's not a bad third line deal. It's about five. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we... No, it doesn't really change much, huh? It's five flat for six years. I don't like that for a third liner. I like that for Hoglander. Ooh, I'm actually going to give him four and maintain the RFA. It's really good. Three, seven, two, five. That's already a... An okay third line deal. And he might actually grow a little bit more into it. And he might be, he'll probably be playing second line right now. So he could get stack growth. You never know what will kind of happen with him. I don't know about the Horvat thing though. Dermot. This is a little tricky. He is still listed as top six. Will he give us... No. Yeah, see, he doesn't want top six money. He wants top four money. Uh, he might be a guy that ends up bouncing. But we got him as RFA, so we'll, we'll see. I was hoping that he would stay and be a top six, but of course he has to grow that one overall and become a top four. Do I sign Horvat for five mil a year? We can still trade him, but it's a pretty firm commitment to a guy who is eventually going to be, he will be second line for now. That's the thing. You know what? He will be second line for now, but five mil flat is a pretty staunch commitment for a guy who's likely going to be third line, but he's kind of good. He's got 88 faceoffs, really solid defensively. And he's got X factors, and that's kind of rare for a third line guy. Well, yeah, it is, honestly. So, I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and do it. So now, I, I well, do I? We could still trade him for stuff, but Gar Garland's a guy who I can also still trade. Who's definitely not a long term planned guy. Horvat is because he can play third line. Can he play third line at five mil? If the, ti the time to sign him would be now, because he's going to be playing second line, he might get sack growth if he has a great, great year. That's the only kind of thing I'm thinking of. A, a, a six-year commitment is perfect. He'll be 33, 34 when he's off of it. It keeps it keeps that salary locked in so we know what we're working with. Hughes is already locked in. Not super, super long. That's not great. Pedersen, not super long either, but it might get tricky with those two. Besser... He's another one where we're going to figure out what to do with. We're, we know we're keeping Hughes. We know we're keeping Pedersen. Besser's a question mark. What, we, what can we get for him? 
he could be a second liner maybe. He doesn't have a ton of X factors, right? So it's like what what can we draft? What can we draft that could sort of fill a gap for Besser? What could we trade for? What could we acquire? I'm thinking I'm gonna go for it. This will make it harder to trade him, but it'll give us more time to trade him. So I'm doing it. It's kind of a high deal for a potential third liner, sure. But for right now, he'll be playing second line. If he gets stat growth and we want to trade him or something, like, yeah. More than easy enough to do that. So we're going for it. Keeping around the captain. And that should be that. For extensions. All right. Some interesting stuff here. We're not going to be grabbing any of the top names, quite obviously. Although we did make the conference finals, we technically could, but I think we're like we're more likely to go for supporting casts, supporting roles. Theoretically, should have checked this first. I'm like, hmm, maybe you go for someone who plays that second line, like a Strom, but he could also play a wing if we want him to. There's several guys here. Let's. I'll take a look and we'll get an idea of what positions we need to fill. And we'll try. We'll basically are wanting to get some guys who can get some stack growth, probably. It's kind of the idea here. So on the forward end of things, there's your. There's five. We technically only need one guy in the top six to fill it out, but we need a lot of guys in depth. Because we only have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> right? We're going to need some guys to fill in the depth roles. We like put Coles in, but he might still be AHL. He is listed as fourth line. Now we'll see how he jumps. He'll be a question mark. Maybe he plays third line. In that case, we're going to want a third line that can help him score. Maybe even have Hoaglander down there. Now he's listed as second. He's got to play with Horvath on the second with whoever else we snag. So it'll be uh, Pedersen, Besser, Garland probably. I, I hate that Pedersen's a two-way now. Or we snag a playmaker. Maybe we put Strom on the top line with Pedersen Besser. Definite possibility. Then we got Horvat and then Garland and Hoaglander. That'll be the second line. Then we got to fill out some kind of a third line. Hopefully four. Put Colson. We'll build it with him in mind. But if it doesn't work, then we just have it. <laughs> we should have some kind of an option there too. And then fourth line, we still have Reeves. <laughs> We can go with, like, Reeves, Patan, and Sutter. I guess Bailey, yeah. And Bailey can be depth. Or Shason can be depth either. It doesn't matter. So that's kind of my idea. You guys can let me know what you're thinking about what we should do in free agency. But we finally, finally, were able to get that draft done. It was a quite a good draft here. And now... Now it's time to get back into this franchise mode delay and all. We are getting this done. So, guys, hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.